Fairway IQ uses AI and automation to deliver four hour rounds. How do we do that? Here's a short demonstration in the application. So this is the air traffic control view. I've gone back to a busy day at a golf course um, that has a lot of traffic, as you see here on the back nine. When everything is red and yellow, meaning reds are behind pace, yellows are approaching problematic status, and there are some greens mixed in. But when everything is red, we have a situation where uh, the player assistants and the marshals will go out and they'll talk to individual groups. The problem with that approach is that the first response that they're going to get from the groups is that it's the group ahead of them. So the major difference between Fairway IQ and how we're using AI to determine the problematic groups is shown here by this one switch that we've got. We switch to the position, out of position um, view, and you'll notice we've highlighted which groups are the problem. Let's go back to the old. There's everyone. That's not helpful. Here is the problematic group that the uh, staff should go address. Now we know that the team is not staring at a screen all day. We have notifications that they'll set up. They'll come in, they'll set up their mobile phone number. They'll turn on the out of position alerts. They'll get an alert that says cart number 14 on hole number uh, 16 uh, is 14 minutes off pace and they can do something about it. They'll go out, they'll talk to the team, they'll get some guidance on how to handle that situation. They'll log any of the conversation in our application so that other people can have that history. Uh, and then the results are a four hour round. So you'll see here, uh, the pace benchmark at this property is four hours and 10 minutes. This is a busy weekend, a couple of weekends ago, and we delivered three hours and 59 minutes. This is the power of AI and automation, and this is the major difference uh, between Fairway IQ and everything else on the market.